Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, your coach in decision making process. In this video, I'm going to present you another method called the Meet Objective Optimization on the basis of Simple Ration Analysis Mosler. This model was developed by Broas in 2004 and it consists of ranking the duration between the sum of normalized weighted beneficial and non beneficial criteria. The alternative which has the highest ratio would be considered as the, the first one or would be selected. Remember, when you look on my channel in the section related to decision making, you will find that I have presented three videos which present three methods. The first method was weighted sum model, the second was weighted product model, the third one was evaluation based on the distance from average solution. Now I'm going to use the same data set so as to see if there is any difference in the result of this method because the, the previous method concluded on the car 5 to be number 1 or to be selected and I'm going to see whether this method can change the choice or can also be on in line with the previous methods. Now you see if you, if you look at my previous videos you can see now that you can see that i use the same data set and this allows me to compare our models whether whether there is any difference in the result of one method or another that's why we continue to work on this example of car selection using this criteria we suppose that we have 10 cars to be selected to, to be selected and we use quality uh, conditions delivery days security fuel consumption price as a evaluation criteria uh, as you can see before I make any presentation, I just I need I first make a preparation of the presentation by preparing all the table needed to conduct our model. And as you can see now, we have some table that must be filled before we decide or we, we, before we use this me this me method. Bef and the, the last table will be this one. This this one which consists of ranking the ration between the sum of benefit benefit criteria and the sum of cost criteria this will be the last one now let's go friends and i show you step by step how you can use this model and the first thing we have to do is to make the square of the decision matrix so as to find the roots of each criteria which will help which will help us to make standardization of uh, of matri decision matrix. Remember, each method has a, its own way of making normalization of matrix. That's why it is better to follow step by step which kind of uh, normalization each method is using. Because as you, if you remember, if you have watched our previous video, the method of using roots of of criteria was not used but now this method as proposed by the author proposed to normalize the matrix based on the roots that's why now here i'm going just to make uh, the square of the decision matrix so as to identify or to find the, 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 the root of the sum now to make the square is just we are working in excel i take this value this value i just put on square root the square or the square I press enter now I cannot drag this formula because it is the same formula in all rows like this and now the next step is just to make to make just now you can see here it's just to make the sun now we can show you even though uh, it uh, to make the sum is equal. The function in English is a sum, but in French is a sum of all these these values. And then I drag the formula here, as you can see here. Okay. Now the the next step is to to find the root the root now here as you can see it is a function in excel in french it is racine maybe in english is root racine of 
this value and I drag I copy this formula or in all low rows now I finished I found the root and this root here we found will allows us to make a normalization of our decision matrix because I will consider each variable this variable divided by the root or the root this one the root divided by the root and so on in all this matrix I will consider those values divided by those the roots found here now we are going to begin to make the normalized matrix normalization of our decision matrix now as you can see here to normalize I take this value this value I take the values values of decision matrix and I divide by the root to make it normalize normalization I divide by this one the root and as to, to copy this formula this formula in all rows I just use this symbol to fix dollar and I can copy this formula because it's the same formula in all rows now I finish to make normalization of our decision matrix this is the third step now the next step is to multiply our normalized matrix this matrix with to multiply with the weights of each criteria now is the next step remember our this way these weights were, were given if the weights were, were not given we were, we were going to calculate the weights using whether uh, objective method or subject, subjective method or, or integrated integrated method now i what i do here is to, to to take this value this value of normalized matrix and then i multiply with the the, the weights here but this would be fixed fixed the weight will be fixed that's why i have to use symbol dollar here and i press enter and now i can copy the formula in all rows like this and I, I also drag down like this and I finish to do what we call normalized weighted matrix normalized weighted matrix which consists of multiplying the weights and the normalized ma matrix now the next step is to make summation to make summation of uh, beneficial criteria and submission of non beneficial beneficial criteria for each car now i what i do here is equal i make summation of beneficial criteria remember i have explained what we call beneficial criteria and non beneficial criteria remember beneficial criteria are those criteria with we want the highest value for instance the quality we need a car with highest uh, quality but non-beneficial uh, criteria are those criteria that we we need lowest value with lowest value as the best now here for instance price is non-beneficial because we need a car with a car with uh, low price that's uh, that's why we call non-beneficial criteria now I'm going to make a submission of these beneficial criteria here. You must pay so much attention so as to make, to qualify where your 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 criteria between beneficial and non-beneficial. Because when we make a mistake, you can add the non-beneficial and the beneficial criteria, which will not be uh, correct. Sorry, uh, here I'm, I have to to add some function and now i press enter this is the sum and i can copy the formula now until the last car so as to make the submission of beneficial criteria like this next i will make submission of non-beneficial criteria it's the same i make some like this and then what i do is to consider our non-beneficial criteria which are which are fuel consumption and price like this I press enter like this then I can copy the formula until the last 
car. Now I calculated the sum of beneficial criteria and the sum of non-beneficial criteria. Now the next step is to calculate duration, which is the duration between uh, sum of benef beneficial criteria divided by the sum of non-beneficial criteria. And now as you can see, I like I do like this, this one divided by this one and i press enter and now i can copy the formula and we have the result like this the next step is just to make ranking of our variation equal rank in in french in french of this value and this is the matrix where the values are so as to drag the, this and this formula I insert dollar so as to fix our matrix like this and then I close this the parentheses and I press enter and I can just drag the, the formula here as you can see now the car phase was ranked the first one with the higher ration and is considered to be the best car to be selected now if you remember when you have for instance many uh, choices or alternatives you can use this I need uh, to do this so as to make one value this one and here I will look for the smallest value like this small I consider one maybe I can change the color and i do like this because it is the choice now as you can see friends all methods agreed on car five to be selected and all met methods give the best rank of car five to be selected now you, you see now i use the four methods and all those methods concluded that um the five the car five can be selected as the car which represents um, the best choice with the best quality best conditions and uh, delivery days which are the best and the best security and a, a small fuel consumption consumption and a small price now this is how we can use this method because now you see as you can see this this method allows you to consider many variables which which are difficult to evaluate even to evaluate and as it has explained when we have many writers or analysts this is the this may be the 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 mean of the the, the point given to each criteria for instance where one if one has given four another five another six you make the mean is four plus five plus plus six divided by three and you have what to put here and i think friends this will also improve the way you are making decision because now our aim is to contribute to improve the way decisions are made so as to to make a good decision i think this is the, the, uh, this is the end of my presentation if you liked this video share it and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and as you can see i will continue to present other information that can help you to improve the way you are conducting your business because now i engaged uh, engaged to uh, to coach to give uh, advices in entrepreneurship in research and and the other domain of management so as to improve uh, entrepreneurial intention for uh, or entrepreneur future entrepreneur or to, to reinforce capacity for those who are acting in entrepreneurship okay friends thank you for watching this video this is the end and thank you again therefore we will see in the next video bye